Hi everyone, today I'm gonna do another follow-up video on Rayo's number. So I'm gonna explain a little bit more about Rayo's number and the related Berry's paradox. So it's um, Rayo's number a paradox or not? And uh, I did it. I did this because I still got a lot of comments and questions about Rayo's number. People are saying Rayo's number is kind of stupid. <laughs> it's a stupid number and it's not very well defined and it's even a paradox. So today I'm trying to explain it a little bit more. So again, first let's look at the English definition of Rayo's number again which is the smallest positive integer bigger than any finite positive integer named by an expression in the language of first order set theory with a Google symbols or less. So is this a paradox? So some people are saying uh, Rails number plus one or you change uh, a Google symbols to a Googleplex or even like G64 symbols. These two will be bigger than Rails number. And at the same time, these two are obviously defined less with less than a Google symbol. So this is just a few symbols, like less than 20 symbols. So they're saying, oh, this is not, uh, this is a paradox. I mean, you can easily define a new number bigger than Rayo's number using just a few symbols. So what is it about? And now let's uh, take a quick look at the Berry's paradox. Um, so for example, you can define the number x as this. The smallest natural number greater than all ones definable and in at most 16 English words. However, this is a paradox because we just defined x using just 15 English words. So in this sentence, there are 15 English words. So x cannot be greater than all natural numbers definable in at most 15 English words. This is a contradiction. And it is. So this statement is a contradiction because oh, this statement is saying x is the smallest natural number greater than all ones that is definable uh, with at most 16 English words, but here we just we just define x using 15 words. So it cannot be greater than itself. Or you know, this is just 15 English words and x has to be greater than any number definable with 15 English words. So this paradox came from the ambiguity of the word definable and more importantly the ambiguity of the English language itself. So Rayo's number is pretty it's kind of similar in some sense it's like you know uh, some people say uh, you know this definition is obviously less than a Google symbols so you can just easily define like change the uh, definition slightly and you can already get a greater number than Rayo's number. However, actually Rayo's number is not a paradox. Uh, Rayo's number circumvents this paradox by replacing the English language with the language of the first order set theory or FOST. So don't forget the actually the most important thing, the key here, which makes Rayo's number not a paradox is here, the first order set theory. So Rayo's number is not uh, defined using the English language. So of course, this definition uh, is just the English uh, explanation of what Rayo's number is. Uh, the actual Rayo's number is not this sentence. I mean, it's not using, it's not defined using the English language. Uh, 
it in fact it used the language of the first order set theory so in other words um, Rayo's number is not actually definable using the English language it uses symbols um, in the first order set theory so this is not a contradiction or a paradox so hopefully this will help you uh, understand Rayo's number a little bit more and thanks for watching and have a nice day